السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Hello everybody and welcome back to our From Zero to Hero Mastering of Disk Inventor Tutorial 1 and we are working with Caster Wheel Project Now we'll start modeling our parts and we'll start with the most simple part in our project it's a bush so let's go as usual as i mentioned before we have to go to our caster wheel folder double click the project file in order to start inventor and be in the folder so our inventor will direct all our work to this working space folder while it's loading we'll go we'll go to our project and we have our parts here so as we said before we have four custom parts to model bush rubber wheel and bracket so we'll start with the very simple part at the first and then we'll go to more complicated so this is our bush detail drawing as we can see here that our bush consists of cylinders okay 522 by 4 this is the first cylinder second cylinder it will be 516 by 10 and we have negative cylinder which is whole 510 and this way we study the part divided to its primitive the cylinder so we will work with cylinders here and then first cylinder 22 by 4 we go to our inventor here okay let's expand this one click the advance and go to our template part my part double mm double click here to load the part modeling environment It's loaded already. So, in order to have any 3D, you have to have 2D sketch before. Then we will draw a 2D sketch and give it a depth or a height as you wish. Okay, how to call it? So we we'll go back to home in order to see our arrangement of X Y Z. Click the 2D sketch, here we have 3D sketch, we will not mention it in this stage, okay, we may work with it in next uh, project, so you don't have to click this small arrow, then click directly on this, this is 2D sketch, go back to home, and let us uh, work with XZ, plane, Cylinder, the base of the cylinder is a circle, so I'll click the circle. Here, if we open, we have tangent circles and we can draw ellipses too. Okay, see, so we'll click on the circle. In order to draw a circle, we have to define its center. So let us use our origins. Then, while I'm moving my cursor, this is, we call it cursor. I'm moving my mouse toward the origin point. Can you see the green dot? In green dot, we call it snap. And then we snap it to origin point zero zero. Can you see the coordinates? Click and move your mouse to draw a circle. Click. We draw a circle without any dimension. Okay, let us give it a dimension. And then as we said, the diameter of the base of the cylinder is 22. Here is 22. We are done. Now we'll finish to the sketching. If you finish to the sketching, it's automatically directed you to 3D environment to create, to give it a depth. Here we'll use first and most usable uh, uh, command 
in the create panel extrude. When I extrude something, I give it a height. Let's see. Okay. And we are adding material here. You can add material. Of course, as we can see here, direction, you can, this is my sketch. You can direct it this way, to the right or to the left, or at the middle. We call it symmetry. Okay. For us, let us direct it there. Or you can simply move your mouse here or there. We can see the heights here. But we, we need a spe uh, specific height, which is 14, I think. Go back. Yes, 4, sorry. 4. Then we give it 4 millimeters. Enter. Save. As you can see, our inventor directed all our work and savings to our workspace folder and we name it as we just make it capital bush save next we'll draw the other cylinder in order to draw first at the first cylinder we have nothing to draw on that's why we used the origin planes x y and z okay which are located here this is yz this is xz and this is xy planes and these are axes x and y and z and this is the center point zero 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 that we put our uh, the center of our uh, circle we match it with its center now we can draw on either planes or on the face you can click on the face and click a 3d sketch from here or click it from here and again it switches to 2d sketching environment we we'll draw another circle here we put it at the center and we give it a diameter the diameter of the the second circle is 516 here we have letter p6 it's fits and tolerances we'll talk about it later okay then 516 let's go back 516 diameter 16 phi it's the sign of diameter finish and let's extrude it to how much 10 and we'll give it 10. okay enter save so this our bush is ready our bush is ready we need to create a center hole it's very simple some people goes here and draw a circle and extrude extrude it we have extrude cut but i don't prefer this use standard or use most of our inventor as much as you can we have a hole tool here we click a hole here's types of our holes okay expand this simple hole we have here clearance hole we have tabbed hole we have add taper tabbed holes okay it's a simple hole here termination we have three uh, types of terminations distance if we have a blind we call it hole okay here we have through all and here we have two so we have through we'll open our hole will be open in the both sides, in both sides, so from here, there. Okay, go down. Now we'll give the dimension of our hole, sorry, the diameter. The diameter of our hole, as we see in our drawings, is 510 through, 510 through. So we'll give it 10. So we have it already 10. Now we have to, to tell inventor, this is our parameters for our hole through 10 millimeter type of it is simple now he's asking where and where we'll put our hole then our hole will be on this face and if we are looking sorry on this view it's not centered i just cre create click the face 
then our hole is concentric. It's sharing the same center with this cylinder. It is see in our drawing here. Can you see? They are the same center. The hole and the cylinders are located in the same center, so it's concentric, we call it. In order to, to do so in inventory, you just click on either on the circle of the cylinder or on the same cylinder on the outside. And we can see now it's centered. Click OK. Our part is ready. Before we are finishing, we have to give material to this part and give it an appearance color. Bushes usually used in devices. They are created the soft material. We give it bush uh, brass soft yellow brass is a soft material brass brass soft yellow and the appearance will, will keep it the same okay and these bushes we we putting them in rotating parts in order to be weird okay which means we have friction of course my uh, Wheel will rotate and around the axes, which are bolt and bushel. Not here. My wheel is cost me money, so I don't want to damage while because of friction to have any damage. Okay, and then this is soft material, so this this material this bush will be damaged. The bushes bushes we they are very cheap. We can. Uh, for any device, go and replace them. Okay, and we'll, it will come back as brand new. So this is the bush. Why do we put bushes in our uh, devices? Now my part is ready, I'll save. And this way we create our first part in our caster wheel assembly. I'll stop here. I hope you are enjoying it. Okay, if you have any questions, anything to clarify, just put your uh, questions down below in the comments. I'll be glad to answer. Keep tuned. See you in next video.